The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In this example, we're asked to write the quadratic function for the parabola that has a vertex of 7, negative 5 and x-intercepts of 6 and 8. Remember from the previous example that x-intercepts means the same thing as roots and the formula that we use for writing a quadratic function is f of x equals a times x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots. Since the roots of the function are 6 and 8, the sum of the roots is 6 plus 8, or 14. And the product of the roots is 6 times 8, or 48. Substituting this information into our formula, we have f of x equals a times x squared minus 14 times x plus 48. Or f of x equals a times x squared minus 14x plus 48. The difference between the problems in this section and the last section is that we also have to find the value of a in order to write the quadratic function. To find the value of a, remember that f of x means the same thing as y, so we can rewrite our function as y equals a times x squared minus 14x plus 48. And since we're given that the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola are 7, negative 5, which represents x, y, we can substitute a 7 in for x and a negative 5 in for y, and we have negative 5 equals a times 7 squared minus 14 times 7 plus 48, which simplifies to negative 5 equals a times 49 minus 98 plus 48, or negative 5 equals a times negative 1. And dividing both sides by negative 1, we find that 5 equals a. Now we can plug a 5 back in for a in our function, and we have f of x equals 5 times x squared minus 14x plus 48. Finally, we distribute the 5 through the parentheses to get f of x equals 5x squared minus 70x plus 240, which is the quadratic function for the parabola that has a vertex at 7, negative 5, and x-intercepts of 6 and 8.